Hello everybody and uh, welcome to this very simple sprite kit tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be making a very simple game just like this one here. So you have a ground, you have a background and you have a ninja and then when the user taps the ninja goes up and then he just lands safely on the ground. So let's get started with this. Just open up Xcode. Create a new Xcode project. Uh, we're going to be making a game the product name just um, I'll name it Ninja Jump and language Swift game technology sprite kit devices universal and go ahead and create that so okay um, if we go ahead and run this right away Apple already has something made for us and it's kind of like a test game uh, it says hello world in the background and then you can tap anywhere and you'll see space shuttles there like starting to rotate pretty cool huh yeah so let's just go ahead and since our game has nothing to do with these spaceships and things rotating and saying hello world just go ahead and delete what I'm deleting and let's go ahead and delete this to the location part and open up this space here so if we run it we won't see anything more no hello world no tapping nothing okay so first thing I'd like to do is put my import my textures in so I just drag them in copy items if needed create folder references finish so you can make your own uh, uh, textures um, with softwares like I just use Paint 2, it's free on the Mac App Store. And then uh, you can just use them in your games, just put them in. So let's just start with the code. Uh, first thing we need to create a ninja. So I'm just going to make a variable called ninja and it's going to be an SK sprite node. So we're just defining it here, not giving it anything, just defining it. And you'll see why I'm defining it here rather than here, where we're going to do more redefining to it later. Yeah. So first off, I'd like to create a texture for our ninja. So I'm just going to name it Ninja Texture. And it's going to be an SK texture. And let's go ahead and select the image named and we're just going to name it whatever our ninja file is named so ninja.png in this case and uh, now we need to uh, put this ninja texture into our ninja which we defined here originally so we're just going to select the texture sk texture with an exclamation mark and then we just replace that with a ninja texture so now we have our so now we have a character in our game which looks like this and has the same size as this but we still haven't added it to our game so if we run this right now we won't see anything on the screen and plus before we add anything we obviously have to give it a position and if you can see here uh, it's gonna be a CG point so we can just go ahead and say CG point make and our X, we want it to be on in the center of our screen. So for the X, we would like to have the uh, middle X coordinate of the screen. So how you do that is a CG rect get mid X of self dot frame. So this would just get the middle mid X point for our screen, because there are different types of screens. So and uh, different like pixel dimension dimensions. Sorry about that. Um, so if I enter a constant uh, variable here, constant number, then uh, it would be different on each device. So since we want it to be in the center of all our devices, we'd have to write it this way. And for the Y, we'll just do the Y. Just TG right, get mid Y for that. We still haven't added our ninja to our screen. For that, all you have to do is self.add child, and then you just do ninja here. So if we go ahead and run this, you'll see a ninja at the center of our screen. 
And I think the ninja is a little too big, so I would like to scale it a little. So all you do for that is ninja dot set scale, and then it's gonna. I'm just gonna make it smaller by that much. I think that'd be a good size. Yeah, it's good. Okay. So right now we need a ground. So when our ninja falls, we want the ground to you know like stop him from just falling all the way down. So let's just go ahead and create a ground just like we did to our ninja. Wait. And space this out. Okay. And let's go ahead and make our ground texture. Which is equal to SK texture. Image named image named uh ground.png. And now I'm just gonna put this into our ground sk sprite node with texture of ground texture and um, for our grounds position just um, cg point me for our x we would like it to be on in the center on the end center of the screen in the center of the screen so what do you do is cg rec get mid x again and then the same as that but for the Y we would like it to be not in the center we would like it to be lower so I'll just go ahead and pick like a number like 20 or something and now um, ground dot um, we must add it self dot add child ground So now if you see we have a ground here, but as you can see there are gaps here and we don't want these gaps because then it doesn't look like a ground, it just looks like an island and yeah that's just not what how we would like to make this. So ground, we could just make the, um, we could make the width of the ground the same as our screen by writing this line of code dot size dot width so so ground dot size dot width is equal to sub dot frame dot size dot width so this will just make our ground as wide as the screen and that's cool but as you can see there's no gravity right now but before I add gravity and physics into the game I would like to add our background so variable BG it's gonna be an SK sprite node again and here we do it again um, let bg texture equal to sk texture image named bg.png bg is equal to sk sprite node with texture which is bg texture then uh, bg.position we want it to be in the center so we could just copy paste this line here which would give it the center point then we would this time we would like its width to be the same as the screen and its height to be the same as the screen so I'll just replace that with BG there and let's do the same for the height 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 let's add that to our screen so I thought add child BG yeah I think there's gonna be a slight problem I think to see if everything is fine right now and yes that's exactly what I meant like the BG covers our things so in 2d game development we also have a Z position actually it's not only in 3d it's also in 2d game development that you have a Z position so you have X you have Y and you have Z so I would just push the ground a little I mean I would push the background a little backwards so it doesn't block our ninja and ground so we'll just do it negative 10 negative 1 same thing actually since it's still going to be behind either way so now here we have our ninja we have our ground we have our background so our user interface looks pretty good right now so all we want to add now is physics so gravity is really simple to add all you do is self dot physics world dot gravity it's a CG vector 
you do cg vector make and then just do zero and negative five for the y this would give it a sort of flappy bird type gravity and uh, yeah what's the error cg vector make zero negative five Oh, okay, yeah, it's not an error. But as you can see, nothing still happens, no one falls down. That's because gravity only affects the objects which have physics bodies. So let's go ahead and uh, give a physics body to our ninja. So it's going to be an SK physics body, and let's go down, and since our um, ninja is a square, just pick the rectangle of size one. And for the CG sizes, do ninja.size. So this would just give it a physics body, so now you'll see your ninja falling. But guess what? Your ninja falls and the ground doesn't stop. Because if you want collisions, your ground should have a physics body as well. And um, so we're just going to give our ground a physics body as well. Ground dot physics body is equal to SK physics body with rectangle of size ground dot size so let's go ahead and run that and um, you'll see that our ground fell as well because we have to stop our ground from being affected by gravity as well so that's going to be really simple as well we just give a constraint to our physics body uh, dot uh, affected by gravity actually no you could also do a uh, dot um, dynamic is equal to false so it won't move at all we don't want our ground to move that would be creepy if our ground did move so here now we have a pretty good game we have gravity in but no still no user interaction so now we're gonna go ahead and give our ninja a bump up when we go ahead and click so all our click code is affected here so every time you click this code is gonna be run so let's just go ahead um, when we want to push our ninja up we want its velocity to be zero before we push it up so how you do that is ninja dot physics body dot velocity that's also a CG vector so just do vector make and then zero zero so it's gonna freeze there like no but yeah the gravity uh, like whatever if it's falling down it's gonna stop rather than keep on falling down and now, for we would like to apply an impulse on the physics body. So apply impulse here, and that's also a CG vector. So we would only like an impulse in the y-axis. So I'm just going to go ahead and put a number like 200 in. Because believe me, this guy's heavy. You need like a high number like that. Oh, never mind. Actually, in my other game... When I wrote 200, it wasn't that much. Weird. Okay, yeah. Let's put something more like 100. We don't want our guy, like, dying of, like, heart sink and free falls. Well, even though it's a character, yeah. But, yeah, now our user can just tap like that. So this gives you a sort of flappy bird without the pipes and no dying. But the f gravity is very good, as you can see, and... These are the basics, and you can actually create anything you want, and it's really fun, yeah. So, this was the tutorial. I'll be making more tutorials on SpriteKit, so stay tuned.